All right, I'm back. Just left the lobsters. And now I'm gonna do the brajol. I'm gonna cook the brajol. Or I'm going to uh, brown it. I'm gonna try to brown it. I've got some oil heating here now. And uh, get them nice and brown before I put them into the sauce, which I've already made. So just made the sauce. See that bubbling away. And I put that together. So once they're once they're browned, they'll go in here, and um, you know, hopefully, cook the rest of the way. I wish I had a little more. So I wish I had another can of tomatoes in here. You know, maybe sometime I'll do my sauce. How I make my sauce. You know, everybody does it differently, but um, I just do. I just start with oil and then the onions and garlic. Get, get the onion. Start with the onions. Don't do garlic first because garlic burns really quickly. You know, get your oil, cook your onions until the onions are almost done. Then you add your garlic. And then what I do is um, I, uh, and I'm just talking because the oil is heating and it's going to be ready pretty soon. Um, I, uh, I use crushed tomatoes. Ground tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. I don't even know what to do. In this, in this instance, in this case, I did one ground tomatoes, one crushed tomatoes. You know the big, big cans, and then whole tomatoes. And with the whole tomatoes, you crush them with your hands, and then you take out the tops. You know the hard top where the stem goes. You want to get rid of that. And um, so those three cans is what's in here. I could use another can of crushed tomatoes, and then I add some tomato paste because you see how it's nice and thick. You want it nice and thick. You know some people call it gravy, even some. Italians call it gravy. We never called it gravy. It's always sauce. But um, you see how nice and thick that is. That's how I like it. And tomato paste helps with that. Um, and you want it to cook for a while, anyways. And the and the brajol is going to cook in here. The brajol is going to cook in here. And then you season it. Okay, you have your salt, your pepper, your Italian herbs. I don't need to use too many because remember we put a lot of parsley in the brajol. Um, and then the secret. Put in some beef bullion, okay? Put in a couple of those cubes. Adds a lot of flavor. Call them, some people call them magic cubes. Um, in Africa, they used to call them, mag they were magis, magi cubes, but they used to call them magic cubes because they add flavor to everything. They, we used to put, put that in everything. And it does. It adds flavor, a lot of flavor. So put them in. I put three in this one. For sauce... That's a secret ingredient, okay? Between you and me. Anyways, there's the sauce. It's cooking nice. Okay, so enough about that. It's time to see how we're gonna do. Okay, that's smoking, so I'm gonna turn that down. See that? That oil is pretty hot and starting to smoke. So it's time to get on with it. Here we go. I'm gonna try and put this here. See if I can show it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try. Now, this is where it comes, it's coming up with, um, this is where it's gonna come up with these stupid toothpicks I'm using. There's the brajol, you can see it. Um, but cooking them in this, with these toothpicks, I don't know about that. See that? I'm gonna brown them. You know, because when I turn them, I'm going to have to worry about those stupid toothpicks. If they were, um, I'm looking for my lid. If it was just tied, I wouldn't worry about it. But, you know, I'll figure it out. But right now I'm just browning the barjol, trying to get it nice and browned. So that, um, and then I'm going to cook it in the sauce. Now, I could bake these. I could put them in the oven and bake them. And I might, you know, maybe that is the way to do it. But right now, I'm 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 browning them on the on the stove top, and I hope that works out. You know, we'll see here. We'll see here in a minute. All right, give me a minute, and then I'm going to show you as I turn them.